so in this video i'll show you how to excite this transformer but before that we need to set up few primary windings over here um, to really um, uh, push the primary currents and secondary currents into the maxwell so very first thing what i would do is i would um, when you transfer the file from PE mag to the Maxwell, it comes up with a bounding box. All it does is, when you're simulating a transformer, you want the fields to be captured within this box. We don't want it to go outside. That's why there is a region or a bounding box that is created. I'll show you how to create it. For now, I'll just delete this bounding box which came from PE mag. I'll just delete it. I'll delete these planes. Um, also delete this plane this specific plane the other thing i would do is you have uh, conductors conductor mat one underscore one there is almost like uh, 50 25 turns this is the half primary then you have um, 26 27 all the way up to 50 50 turns so this is the second half primary this one should be the secondary this is the second second parallel winding of the secondary this is the copper foil um, if you click on it it will just show you once you click on it you can do this eyeball where it only shows this thing um, whichever you clicked then if you click on the two green mark it shows everything let's say i want to see only this i'll just click on this brown eye button it shows only that winding then you double click uh, click on the two green wires two green right marks it shows uh, you everything so what i would do is i'll just right click uh, i think i can do this i'll click on conductor mat one underscore one and hold the shift key and select everything okay one second uh, let me do this uh, hold the shift key select everything shift key right click properties type in copper copper should be there uh, automatically this is free uh, just like the core uh, materials um, it's not something which is locked or you have to purchase this should be bare minimum that should be available if it's not available just look at the material properties um, and just add a separate material very simple uh, if you want to look at it this is like very high conductivity relative permeability one and you can just enter this if it's not present in your library but this should come up then i'll just hit ok so that it assigns the material i'm basically assigning the material so we have copper windings we have material which is the core this one i think this is some gap uh, let me keep it for now before deleting it um, so i'll just click on the two right marks right clicks over here what i would do is um, right now we have 25 turns the half primary then there is 25 turns over here each wire um, has like four windings in there so what i would do is i will create four parallel windings uh, i'll show you why i do that way uh, under excitations right click um, go to add winding so i would say this is primary first winding because you have 50 turns all in series and I would create I'll just assign it like uh, 2.5 or just for now I'll show you why I'm doing it like that then I'll I have this um, I'll create another one assign add winding primary Fourth. 
so if there was one single awg wire let's say awg 20 or 0.2 millimeter 0.3 millimeter doesn't matter because in the us it's american wire gauge so we say it awg 21 awg 22 um, other countries would just call it um, like 0.1 millimeter 0.2 millimeter so the reason i created four windings is if we had 50 tons and just one single awg 21 or 22 it would be easy that means all you would have over here is just one primary period because i would have uh, 50 turns under it so let me show you what i mean select all so right now you have four this is one single wire which has four strands in it then you have second wire third fourth all the way up to 25 then all the way up to 50 but each wire has four windings so what um, we have to do is we have to assign these windings under each of these primary wires uh, if it was just 50 turns and one single wire one single strand of uh, AWG 29 all you have all you would do is select the primary uh, hold the shift key all the way up to 50 turns okay right now it's showing 50 underscore 150 underscore 2 because there are four wires one two three four if it was just one single uh, primary it would just say c1 underscore 50 that's it that's where it would stop so I, i'm holding the shift key click on here selected everything and all i would do is come over here uh, okay not over here you have to come on the window right next to it one second um, click on here then what i would do is click on shift then click over here so it selects everything come on this uh, specific window right click assign excitation there is coil terminal if this was a single strand of uh, wire you see this complete red it has selected all the four wires uh, so i would just say okay i would just say okay it's creating because it's 50 turns and four strands in this what I said was just for a single strand if there was just a single 50 turns one wire AWG 29 you would come over here and what you would do is you would have just one primary you would just right click add terminals terminals not assigned to this winding you would do you would hold on to it just scroll it down click on it and then uh, scroll it and then you would hold the shift key click on this and say this so uh, what it would do is it would put all the primary 50 turns under here assuming you had only one strand now i have four strands inside just single turn i could have shown you just a single awg wire and made it very simple but practically when we design the transformers we have several strands of awgs it may not be lids you take two strands or three strands for the current uh, for the wire to handle the current instead of getting it uh, instead of wire getting hot what engineers do is put several strands so let's say if i had put four strands whatever method i showed still remains the same but it's little different so i'll do undo right now and what I would do is I'll do it again undo okay what did it do nothing so previously I selected everything okay now what I would do is I would create primary one this specific one two three four all the way up to 50 this comes under primary one and uh, something like this inductance assume that there is 10 amps flowing through the primary let's for example if it's one single wire it would handle ideally it would handle that 10 amps 
so since we put four our assumption is ideally each each of these windings should handle 2.5 amps of current so this will handle 2.5 this will handle 2.5 this will handle 2.5 so overall it's the complete wire is able to handle 10 amps so i have created primary half over here first uh, then there is second third so what i would do is under first i would uh, assign these 50 turns one this one this one this one all the way up to 50 then i'll do it for the second as well so what we are basically doing is if you assume this is the wire we have four wires each of them 50 turns in parallel and they are able to handle 2.5 amps of current individually that's what this procedure applies to any wire uh, any parallel strand of wire and i showed you how to set it up for just one single awg wire right now we have four strands of awg 29 uh, so um, i'll set up as um, this has um, this one as primary one primary one primary one all the way up to here then this one would be primary two 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 primary two so there are 50 turns so the way to do it is you would always come under sheets when you're trying to assign the individual wires not under solids go under sheets uh, i think i can do a right click collapse all so that everything comes under like this so if i click on this where is that this tiny little i don't know if you're able to see it just to pan uh, when you click on pan and hold it okay now click on this one so it highlighted this one if you look at the this one this is the first wire of that one second turn this one is the first wire of the third turn so I'll assign all under one first primary so hold on to control or command whatever key based on Mac and Windows so I'll click on here, click on here, click on here. So it's a little tedious, but um, uh, I'll also show you, ideally we are assuming that this is uh, carrying equal amount of current. Practical transform, it's not really true. Um, I, can I will also show you how to set it up. Um, where you can see the imbalance in the current but it's a very time consuming process um, in terms of uh, running the simulation as well um, uh, I'll, I'll show you at the end of uh, this uh, tutorial or somewhere in the videos so select all of these uh, this one maybe i should have reduced the number of turns so this would have been pretty sim little simpler maybe I'm just holding the command or control key and just selecting everything uh, this is the same procedure you have to do every time you assign uh, this one 27 So if this was a single strand it would just say c1 underscore 42 and it would not show the first uh, wire second wire third wire fourth wire it would be just after this you would see this section 40 c1 underscore 43 uh, i would hold the control uh, 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 now I have selected fit all you have seen the first wire of everything then come on this specific window not over here right click 
assign excitation coil terminal uh, it doesn't matter you can just say coil terminal primary one primary one first uh, you you just leave the number of conductors as same so you would see 50 turns over here now what i would do is i would just right click on primary underscore first add terminals click on terminals not assigned to this winding click on this one and scroll down and hold the shift key so that it selects everything so the first and first parallel winding already has these little things so i do the same way for others now one thing you can ask is why is that lids is only shown as a solid wire it mm, uh, whereas this one we didn't select it as a lids that's the reason we selected it as a four individual wires which were kind of uh, parallel strands um, uh, ANSYS um, takes this complete 50 strands as a single wire and uh, tries to simulate it and the error between simulating 50 strands versus this is very minimal I probably will get into that uh, for now let's concentrate on this one now it's gone under the sheets if you see this is the first primary now it's talking about the second one actually so I'll do the same way for the others hold the control key this one three two four two five two six two seven two eight two Two, 10 to 11 to 12 to 13 to 14 to 15 to 16 to 17 to 18 19 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 43, 44. So I'll come over here, right click, assign excitation, call terminal, just say doesn't matter primary two primary two just keep the conductors as one uh, under excitations I'll just add it under the second wire right click add terminals mm, coils not assigned to this one it's not assigned to this so I'll just come to two underscore one then hold the shift key and select everything then do ok so all these are under second I'll do the same way for the third so what um, uh, I'll show you what we what I meant is if you come to primary underscore first uh, properties click on properties let's say this is uh, 2.5 amps S come over here right click um, properties I'll just say 2.5 just for your mental picture that there is 2.5 amps flowing that means there is 2.5 flowing through this specific winding 2.5 over here 2.5 over here 2.5 over here this you can consider as a single wire internally there are four strands they are sharing the current that's what we are doing for lids it's pretty easy I could have assigned this as lids as well we wouldn't be seeing this complete complex process but I wanted to show you that um, I'll do the same way uh, it should not take much time one underscore three two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and just make sure you select only the third one third third three Three, 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 three. 
all the threes are selected. So control three, three, three. Come over here, right click, assign excitation, coil terminal, just say pre primary 3, pri underscore 3, click OK. Then do the same way, come here, mm, under excitations, under the third winding, right click, add terminals, currently not assigned to any winding. You can click this one so it only shows uh, the ones hold the shift key I'm over here terminals not assigned to any winding I'll just copy it now the very last one this should be easy so I hold the shift key um, I click over here I do right click over here assign excitation coil terminal this is the primary file so the complex part is over now then come over here fourth one right click at terminals terminals not assigned to any winding click on this one then hold the shift key select everything period so everything has been assigned so you can assume 2.5 is flowing through this 2.5 2.5 2.5 all four are in parallel there is 10 amps flowing now we do the same way for the big ones uh, so secondary select this one right click uh, assign excitation coil terminal this is secondary one actually secondary one uh, these two are in parallel okay firstly these primaries are in um, this is 50 turns 50 turns 50 50 they are in parallel so i can do for the secondary excitations add winding this is a secondary one secondary one I'll just do okay for now and right click add terminals terminals not assigned to this so everything you have to do it from this uh, under sheets the way you assign it now if we had uh, primary we had secondary we had second winding of the secondary the second parallel add winding I'll say secondary two, secondary two now if you wanted to see imbalance in the current which i don't really use it because it slows down the simulation way slow meaning you click on external once you click on external and click ok it will open up a very fresh um uh, somewhere around maxwell let me see let me see where is that external external properties external and it would actually open a let me see so let me assign these uh, the rest of them sorry uh, hold the shift key over here right click oh, okay it worked actually assign excitation coil terminal this is secondary two uh, secondary one and secondary two are in parallel so right click at terminals terminals not assigned shift so if i had selected external excitation there are three three excitations if I click on any of these there is current excitation which we will use this there is voltage excitation there is current external excitation if I click on external when is external really needed when you have parallel windings and you want to see if there is any imbalance in the current based on my understanding uh, you can start your simulation with just equal currents flowing through the windings that's much easier and when you click on external it either should open a special maxwell page maxwell circuit page you can do right click or no not right click actually you can do this way under projects insert a maxwell 
Maxwell circuit design. Inside ANS is, there is one circuit simulator which is called Simplorer. I think recently they changed the name of it to Twin Builder. Uh, you know, this Maxwell circuit, it's exactly the same Simplorer. So whatever we designed inside this, you would create the same circuit in the external Maxwell. Let me just show you quickly. I'll show it um, later as well, Maxwell circuit design. So you will create the Maxwell circuit, the flyback. And um, when you actually click on properties external here, so the excitation would come from these. Uh, right now I'm uh, using Simplorer to send the primary and secondary currents. Uh, when you don't want to do Simplorer and you want to have an excitation separate like external excitation, you would um, create the same circuit in Maxwell, this one, Maxwell circuit. It's exactly similar to Simplorer Twin Builder. Um, just to look at the uh, imbalance in the primary currents like if you want to look at the imbalance here but i don't think it's worth it but you're welcome to try it if possible i'll also show you how to set it up the only problem is the maxwell the simpler that i created when i click analyze let me show you if i click analyze it runs within like few seconds actually like less than five seconds i have the complete current and i come here look at the xy plot see there's a 10 millisecond okay let me zoom out actually fit all i have 10 milliseconds of simulation done within five seconds actually whereas this maxwell circuit what happens is um it takes these individual inductances like this these individual inductances and dumps it over there in the maxwell circuit then you have to manually connect uh, the inductance is similar to what I showed over here like this wire and you have to first run the Maxwell circuit which takes several hours actually because if you want 10 milliseconds of simulation to be done it takes quite a long time then you have to run the transient so it's way too complicated that's why what I do is I just assume equal current flowing through the windings and I just push the excitations from the simpler to the Maxwell transient. I'll probably show you how to run the how to set up the external circuit as well. So it's not something to worry about. Okay, let me save it. It takes quite a long time to save everything. Mm. still saving so so basically what my procedure is I am setting up a simpler circuit I am sending the excitations from simpler to the transient uh, as current excitations now I set up my primary I will just say properties I actually don't need to uh, I'll just say current excitation for now right click properties current excitation says zero amps um, for this one properties uh, current excitation properties type of excitation current it's okay now you will get get the properties current and properties current Oh no, this is current, right? Okay, let's do it this way now. I wouldn't save it. Um, now come over here to Simplora. Come under import. Click on excitations. Oh no, actually, you can drag and drop one over here. Oh, no, maybe there was one. Zoom fit. Ah. okay uh, so 
under import just click on here so it opens up this one so source for mesh I'll select it as the UD and um, you click on extract you see the beauty of this one is it extracted what was inside the transient simulation now if you click on ok in description it's a current excitation so it will take the current uh, over here what am I trying to do just click on ok so that you can the primary first was enabled but no value has been provided oh, man. okay okay so in the primary winding I want point one fourth of the current flowing through this going over here so what the value I'll put it is L1 I look for L1 dot I So I'll do 0 0.25, one fourth of the current flowing through L1 dot dv, uh, L1 dot v, L1 L1 dot i. So double click it so that it appears over here. Then you click OK. What I would do is I just type in it, type it in here because I already know what it looks like point L1 dot I uh, L1, no, L1 dot I okay and then click over here it's the same point two five dot I dot I this one you click on here click L2 dot I but in the secondary side we have a half the current flowing through each because both are in parallel as I showed you these two are in parallel if there is 10 amps flowing through the secondary uh, you have uh, 5 amps flowing through this one 5 amps flowing through this one you have 10 amps flowing like this so it, let's assume it's equal current for now um, Again, if you want to see the imbalance, you have to run external circuit. I'll show you how to do that. 0.5 times L2 dot I. L2 dot I. Double click on it. Don't just single click. You have to make sure the L2 dot I appears over here. All right. Now, I'll just copy the same. 0.5 times L2 dot I. Now, check. Everything is enabled. It's a current excitation. And it's from the current project which is fly flyback pe dot mag i am pushing the excitations from i'm in simplora right now because this is highlighted in bold black i'm pushing it into source one mesh source for mesh one underscore ud i'll click ok and you can place it over here then right click finish so this one what i would do is I would just say push the excitations from 9 milliseconds where it has completely settled down actually you click OK first first you have to after putting this you have to run analyze for this specific circuit so that it pushes the excitation now it will probably show um, okay let me first save it it will take some time usually it would show an error saying that uh, the excitations were not pushed because you did not run the circuit so I ran it first so it didn't give that error mm. so I'm pushing from 9 milliseconds because when once I ran this simulation if you remember it settled down from I'm just sending nine millis nine milliseconds to ten milliseconds and just like a periodic that it repeats. I'll send it like that and come over here. Let me show you 
over here right click properties I would do is come back over here I ran it then click push excitation so I ran the simulation under simple order 2 underscore UD now it is it said excitation successfully sent to the Maxwell design if you didn't and click on analyze it would not send the excitations it would throw an error so I'm pushing the excitation from 9 milliseconds to 10 milliseconds I don't really care that much um, I would stab okay now click OK now come over here under the 3D Maxwell. Right click on this one, properties, you'll see this. You see that? It changed to PWL piecewise, linear, that it keeps repeating. I probably would change it back to PWL underscore periodic. Let me first analyze it first. So it pushed the excitation. Let's see for the secondary. So, um, properties, I don't have to put 0.5 over here because I already put 0.5 equal current flowing through the secondary over here actually. So, no need to put uh, 0.5 again. So, that's it. So, this is how you set it up. It's a little tedious. Now, I'll just show everything. Uh, fit all. Uh, we have assigned the core material we have put the excitations now we have to set up boundaries and few mesh analysis uh, and then we run the simulation so click save and that's it we'll see you in the next video